Hi kids, how would you like to go on a big safari? What's a safari? It's a journey through the jungle hunting for animals. With gun? Oh no, the only shooting we would do is with a camera. When do we go? Right now. Hey, everybody, look at that big island down there. It's called Honolulu. And do you know who lives there? Puff the Magic Dragon. Right. We can't stop there, but we'll fly low. And if you look carefully, maybe you'll see him. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Oh, Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whenever they came. Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name. Oh, Puff! The magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Puff, the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. A dragon lives forever, but not so little boys. Painted wings and giant rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. And puff that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. Oh, Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea. And frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Did you see him? Yeah. Do you think he'll ever come out of his cave again? Oh, I'm sure he will. He likes kids, and look, there it is. The great continent of Africa, where our safari really begins. Yay! Oh, boy! Wow! Okay, now remember the rules. Everybody, stay close and in line, and be very quiet. Real wild elephants! Three of them! A mother and father and baby! They're huge! Shh! Be very quiet. We don't want them to know we're here. They're just like the elephants at the circus! What big trunks they have! Wow! What's in the elephant's trunk? What's in the elephant's trunk? Elephant toys for elephant boys. 
Elephant curls for elephant girls. Various kinds of elephant junk. That's what's in the elephant's trunk. What's in the elephant's trunk? What's in the elephant's trunk? Elephant jokes for elephant folks. Elephant pails for elephant tails. Various kinds of elephant junk. That's what's in the elephant's trunk. What's in the elephant's trunk? What's in the elephant's trunk? Elephant box for elephant cats. Elephant knives for elephant wives. Various kinds of elephant junk. That's what's in the elephant's trunk. What's in the elephant's trunk? What's in the elephant's trunk? Elephant cheers for elephant ears. Elephant pills for elephant ills. Various kinds of elephant junk. That's what's in the elephant's trunk. What's in the elephant's trunk? What's in the elephant's trunk? Elephant styes for elephant's eyes. Elephant bows for elephant's clothes. Various kinds of elephant junk. That's what's in the elephant's trunk. What's in the elephant's trunk? What's in the elephant's trunk? Those elephants sure can move fast. Yeah, they're out of sight already. Okay, kids, let's move on. What's that? Sounds like a lion roaring. I see it clearing in the jungle up ahead. That's where he probably is. Let's get closer, but be very quiet. Okay, here we are. There he is! Wow! Look how big he is! Yeah! Is he as dangerous as he looks? He sure can be, but we're downwind from him, and he won't catch our scent. Stay down behind the bushes, and don't move! The lion with a mangy mane was lost as a babe in a shady lane. He lost his father, lost his mother, lost his sister, lost his brother. He was afraid to leave the shady lane. He found a little cave in a shady lane. Never felt the sunshine, never felt the rain. His coat was dull, it had no glow, but his beautiful body continued to grow. He was afraid to leave the shady lane. The lion with the mangy mane was lost as a babe in a shady lane. He found his father and his mother, found his sister and his brother found his mate and left the shady lane. The lion with the mangy mane. The lion with the mangy mane. Look, there's another lion. It's probably his mate. He's going over to meet her. And they're going into the jungle on the other side. Right. They're gone, and now it's safe to move. Ooh, look! A giraffe! Did you ever see anything as tall as that? Jerry the big giraffe 
His neck is long. His legs are strong. When he feels that danger's near, he can run just like a deer. When Jerry's thrown his sore, they feed him cough drops by the score. More and more and more. Now, just beyond the clearing? What? The river. Oh, that explains why there are so many animals around here. Right. They come down here for their drinking water. Let's get down there, too. Should be quite a sight. Here it is. The river. Oh, wow. You weren't kidding. Look at all those animals. Oh, look. Crocodiles. Oh, yeah. And look at that big old croc on the shore on the other side of the river. Does he ever look mean? The grumpy old crocodile is grumpy tonight. He's growling and snapping left and right. His old rheumatism has been acting up all day. All the baby crocodiles are keeping out of his way. The grumpy old crocodile. Left and right. He used all his medicine. And what do you suppose? His poor old back is aching from his tail to his nose. So grumpy he could weep. The baby crocodiles all hide around the corner and peep. They'll hide until old grumpy just grumps out and falls asleep. And falls asleep. And falls asleep. And falls asleep. 
and falls asleep. Ooh, look at that monkey up in the tree. <laughs> Isn't he cute? That's a chimpanzee. He seems to be so friendly. Well, he really is, and he's very intelligent. Chip. The chimpanzee swings from tree to tree. Doesn't worry about what the future may bring. Finds a little tree where he can swing. Chip. The chimpanzee. Chip. The chimpanzee. Because he's free He's at the top of the monkey steeple Not as much monkey as he is people Chip The chimpanzee The jungle is his playground Built especially for him He's at home where he can roam from tree to tree and limb to limb. Trouble to him is a stranger. He has a moral to teach. He manages to keep out of danger by keeping out of reach. Chip! The chimpanzee! Happy! Because he's free! Look, kids, out there in the river. See those two heads with the big bulging eyes? I know what they are. They're hippopotamuses. <laughs> well, the correct word when there's more than one hippopotamus is hippopotami. Hippopotamuses, hippopotami. Either way, all I know is they're fun to watch. <laughs> Honeymoon, Hippie and his darling Lippy. They stopped in the city to see the circus, and they became dazzled by the city's glow. They bought a house in the city, and what do you know? The family began to grow and grow and grow. Hippie and Lippy, the apartments. Spring is sprung. Think about the days when they were young. Take all the little hips that love has brung and sing all the love songs that once they sung. Hippy and Lippy, the apartments. I'm Lippy. I'm Lippy. 
cat with spots. That's a leopard. Sure looks like he can move fast. He's a fast mover, all right, and a good hunter. There was a boy at the high school they used to call Lenny the Leopard. I wonder if this leopard is anything like poor old Lenny. Lenny the Leopard was a dropout. Lenny the Leopard was a popout. He played all day, wouldn't go to school. He didn't care about the golden rule. That's why he was such a fool. Lenny the Leopard. Lenny the Leopard was a glum one. Lenny the Leopard was a dumb one. How could he ever live a life of these When he couldn't say thank you and he wouldn't say please He never learned his ABCs Lenny the Leopard Lenny the Leopard was a smarty He thought that life was one big party as years go by, he's gonna learn his fate And wanna go to school so he can graduate But he'll find out that it's too late For Lenny the Leopard Don't be like Lenny the Leopard Don't be like Lenny the Leopard when he grew up, he had money to spend. With all his money, couldn't find a friend. And that was the very end of Lenny. Lenny, poor Lenny, poor Lenny, poor Lenny, the leopard. I get a feeling that this real-life leopard isn't at all like your old friend Lenny. He looks like he's doing everything a smart leopard should be doing. It's a bear! Yeah, a grizzly bear. What's he doing here? Grizzlies are usually found only in North America. He sure looks mean. Look, the leopard is getting out of his way, but fast. No claws in his paws, no teeth in his jaws, and his color turned to green. That's what he got for being a mean old grizzly bear. Got me. His chinny chin chin, his chest was bare and his belly caved in. No hair on his chin, his belly caved in. He was ashamed to be seen. That's what he got for being me. Grizzly bear, 
decided to change his ways, and he was oh so good for days and days and days. He grew new claws in all of his paws. He grew new teeth. Both of his jaws, new claws in his paws, new teeth in his jaws, and his colors was like it was before. And he is in me anymore. I still can't figure out what a grizzly bear's doing in this part of the world. Look at that baby tiger down at the edge of the river. <laughs> He's so cute. Do you think we could pat him? Most dangerous thing you could do. How come? He looks pretty small and harmless to me. Because where that little tiger goes, Big Mama Tiger can't be far away, and she'll attack anything that touches her baby. Little Tippy, the tiger. Such a nosy, cozy little feller with his stripes of brown and yeller. Little Tippy, the tiger, thought that he was quite a grown-up, so he tipped off on his own up to the corner. Little Tippy soon discovered he was lost and started crying, Mama, Mama. Baby Tiger took it to spank. Baby tiger, too cute for a tank. Little Tippy, the tiger. Mama found that he was missing. She was in no mood for kissing. Little Tippy, the tiger. After she had done her tiger thanking, Tippy got a tiger spanking. A nosy, cozy little feller with the stripes of brown and yeller. Baby tiger, too cute to spank. Baby tiger, too cute for tank. Little Tippy, learn the lesson. Now you can start to bet, and that not soon will he begin forgetting. Tippy, the tiger. She had done her tiger thank and Tippy got a tiger spanking. Tippy the tiger. Ooh, look, you're right. There's the mother tiger. Wow, is she big? And now she's leading her cub back into the jungle. Yep, she's not going to let him get into trouble. You can bet on that. I think it's time we were getting back to camp. Let's go. Hey, look at all those horses. Or are they donkeys? Or, gee, don't you know the difference between a donkey and a zebra? You mean those are zebras? Of course. You can tell zebras right off by their stripes. You never saw a horse or a donkey with stripes, did you? Well... Zebra stripes. Not too thin and not too wide. Zebra stripes makes it easy for him to hide. Mean old hunter passing by. Mama zebra caught his eye. Just stood still where the grass was high. Zebra stripes. If you want to have some fun, count zebra stripes. Try to follow them one by one On his ears and on his nose On his tail and on his toes Up and down and round it goes Zebra 
the stripes. About his size, he don't have donkey ears or eyes. The thing that makes him such a prize: zebra stripes. Well, that's the end of our safari, kids. How did you like it? You mean our make-believe safari? So what if we were just at the zoo and not on a real safari? It was terrific. Yeah, it was great. Thanks for taking us. Oh, you're welcome. But remember, you can go on your own safari at the nearest zoo anytime you want to. Right on. Right on.